everybody. Welcome to another episode of Throwback Thursday. I'm here with Rob. That's me. That's you. You're Rob. And I'm excited to say we're playing a game we haven't played in a while. Like 11 oh, years. Man. Uh, so we're playing some AT43. Playing. <laughs> we're we're gonna we're gonna move miniatures around in AT43. Um, if you don't know AT43, this is another great example of a game that was probably a bit ahead of its time. Um, it was released as a sci-fi counterpart to Rackham's Confrontation, uh, which at the time was a highly detailed metal miniature game, mm -hmm. um, and it was a pre-painted plastic game. But the quality of the pre-paints, you're gonna see this in a minute, is is bonkers. Yeah. Like for pre-painted miniatures, they are unbelievable in quality. Um, the storyline for the game. It's really interesting. Amazing. It's probably it's probably one of the coolest storylines. The the starter set, which was Operation Frostbite, Damocles. Damocles. Damocles is the first one, then Frostbite is the second one. Yep. That's right. So Operation Damocles pitted the Therians, which kind of look like Necrons, they're like robotic, like like, like murder machines, stabby claw hands, and like, like necromancer designed robots. Yeah, yeah. If there was like undead in a in a sci-fi game, they kind of looked like that. Versus the Avens, which were the humans wearing their you know cool sort of like fatigues and fighting with kind of quasi World War II sci-fi weapons. Yep. Um, and you thought that they, they were the good guys, but actually the evil necromantic robots were the humans the whole time. So yep. humanity has basically transcended their own bodies to the point where they're using nanomachines to create like their, their external forms, and they're just A million years into our future. That's right, like a million billion years in the future. And it's not cost effective enough for them to extract and crack open planets. So what they do instead is they seed human DNA onto worlds with these big obelisks. And by the time the humans get developed enough to crack the obelisk open, it sends a signal that brings the Therians to then collect all the resources that they've cracked out of the ground. Well, they're doing that because the universe is suffering heat death. That's right. We're getting to the great collapse <laughs> and they're trying to reorganize all the matter in the universe to basically prolong their prolong existence. their own existence yeah and so and so humanity is a tool they're the and well no the avens are a tool humanity are actually the good guys the therians trying to save the universe by enslaving and killing everyone around them and reorganizing all the matter in the universe so it's done this a bunch and the avens are the only one they're standing up to that's them. right so what's happened in this case before the aliens can come back and wipe them out is the aliens uh or sorry the avens i'm gonna say aliens the avens interact with an alien race called the cog and you're playing the cog today and the cog are they're the goodest guys in good guy town. They're, they're the Ferengi, basically. <laughs> they're gray aliens that like money. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> and they have lots of technology. They've been constant wars with the Therians, and the Therians have been beating them up a whole bunch. So what they've started doing is arming all of the human colonies the Therians leave behind. Um, and then, so when the Therians come back this time to Ava, which is the name of the planet that they're fighting on, um, they they they're ready. They've got laser technology. They've got yep. Striders, which are big combat walkers, and they actually put up a fight. So the Dyson spheres that are like floating around that are containing all the Therians, who are the humans, um, start like trying to collect the resources. And there's this thing called the Trauma in the year 43? No, it's 43 years it's, after the trauma. Uh, yeah, so it's, there's BT is before trauma. That's right, before trauma. And it's, it's not, that's the name of the game, it's AT43. It's after trauma, 43 years. It's 43 years after the initial assault of the Therians, and they've been pushed back, and now we're taking the fight to them. Mm. We're going and going to Operation Frostbite and invading plants and pushing the Therians back. But the best part still is that the vast majority of the Therians don't know this is happening. No. Nope. Don't care. No. Nope. It's a fraction of a percent it's, who are actually excited because war is a fun distraction. It's totally pointless <laughs> in the endless lives of the Therians because they're just like transcendent humans. Yep. So it it kind of has like a dark pointlessness to it, but it's very cool. So we'll show you the miniatures. We're gonna set up a game. Now normally the game in, in the missions in the rule book was played on two by four, but I don't think it's a great, it's not a great, it doesn't show the game off very well. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna play on four by four today. Um, we're gonna play a full 2,000 point game without reinforcements, because the reinforcement rules meant that you only played a portion of your army at the beginning and more of it came on. So we're just gonna play a full 2,000 point game on a four by four table um, and use the standard scoring mission uh, rules and stuff like that. I'm using all terrain that was available from mm -hmm. AT43. Part and this isn't part of it. This isn't even all of it. There's so much. Everything you bought, everything you bought came with one of these containers. So just think about that when you see the amount of containers in this table. And know that this is maybe a third of the containers I have. So we'll show you the table. We'll show you the armies and we'll get this underway. So here is my mind military industrial complex platoon pattern for my Avens. Now I want to do a big shout out right now to the Order of Esoteric Gamers. Um, they have organized and translated and adapted all of the like rules for this game. Um, and I'll link in the video description below. So if you wanna find the rules, they've put it all into like super legible, awesome printable cards. So any of the FAQs and changes that happen throughout the lifetime of this game are all in this set. So I have like an up-to-date, all the rules should be up-to-date set of cards basically at this point. Um, so what happened when you built a platoon was you got ranks. 
And certain platoons, there's a standard platoon that everybody got that was the same, but you could also pick one of your specialty platoons for your faction. So the military industrial complex is my strider and vehicle platoon style. So I get, um, I, I can take, or I have to take at least one rank one, two, or three units. I can take an optional rank one, two, or three unit, a rank three soldier unit, an infantry unit that's one or two, and an infantry unit that's one or two. For my first one, the AFV, I've got my fire crawler lieutenant, which is the big giant laser cannon tank back here. Um, it's got two heavy grazers, which are giant lasers, and a whole bunch of hitboxes. Then my second AFV unit, I have a unit of fire toads. And this is a little walker that came in the starter set. Uh, the middle one here is a character one. It's called the Bad Dog. And that's because it's got Sergeant A. a Bor in it so he's a special character that can actually dismount when it gets destroyed um, and he gives some special rules and stuff to it as well then i have two regular fire toads um, i have a unit of steel tack arms which is a soldier unit of rank three and they are um almost like power armor suits light power armor suits one man portable walkers and they have double laser cannons on their arms which are pretty cool laser guns uh, and then i have a unit of steel troopers these guys came in the set as well if you had the models, two guys can upgrade to be specialists for free. So I have a medic and an engineer. An engineer can repair stuff. A medic can save um, guys who die, their armor saves. And then you get one special gun as well. So I have a laser, uh, heavy laser gun, which is the same one the attack arms have. And these guys all have tri-lens helmets, which makes them better shooters. They're better at shooting their guns at the enemy. And that's my 2,000 points. Now, for taking the platoon pattern, there's always an advantage and a disadvantage. All of my vehicles get repair. So at the beginning of, um, or end of a unit's activation, it can repair a friendly uh, armored fighting vehicle within 2.5 centimeters, which is an inch, uh, including itself. And you get just recover one structure point wherever you want. So I can basically erase a damage box on either the model itself or another model. Uh, but the downside is, if all my vehicles are destroyed, I lose the game no matter what the VP score is. Here's Rob's army, the COGS, or as I call them, the COGS. <laughs> so you've got a special platoon pattern as well, and it's called the Evolution. And so yours is, you have the Evolution advantage. Um, all your units of fighting vehicles, the maximum number you can take. So it'd normally be three in this unit, it goes to four. And also, if you take the original amount, you get the last one for free. So you're getting a free 250 point walker for having maxed out the original unit size, basically added on. You get a, four, a free walker for taking the evolution. Um, you have to take an AFV unit. Uh, then you can also take another AFV unit if you want. You can take an armor fighting vehicle unit that's rank one or a rank three infantry unit. I think you went for the rank three infantry unit, didn't you? Twice. You took gunmen who are rank three, and an Evolution G45, and he's what, an officer for the gunman? Yep. So he's the character that goes on there. And then your second one, you took some hunters, and they are the um, the special, like, rockety pack guys. And then you took two characters attached to them, or are they specialists? Two characters. They're characters, there you go. You took Evolution G18 and Evolution G36, and they're attached as well. So you have two Type 3 units and a Type 3 walker, or top, Type 1 walker unit. And that's your army, 2,000 points. Your army... Evolution G18 is going to be your uh, your leader, and he's got four command points there. So that's his rank. That's his little where is it? Your little hat, like your little radio. Six six radio points, and these are used throughout the game to activate units and also to bid to try and go first. All right. So now the basis of the game round for um, for AT43 was a bidding system to see who activates first, and you would actually set up as all a confrontation your order of activation in advance. So you'd place your cards in a pile in advance, and then your general is the highest leadership um, character that you have. So in this case, my steel trooper captain, he is my highest leadership uh, ranked, ranked character, ranked four captain, and he has an intelligence of seven. So that's his, uh, his strategy points that he generates. So he generates seven of those. Then I get one for every unit in my army, and I have one, two, three, four units, which gives me a total of 11 little LPs I can spend here. Rob's got six for his highest and four units. He's gonna have 10 LPs. And what we do is we'll set our order of activation. Three units. Oh, we have three units, that's right, sorry. I forgot that's a unit of characters over there. So you have nine LPs total. Um, and then we set our order of activations, we're gonna roll off. We can secretly bid as many LP as we want. Now LP can also be used to activate things like going to ground for cover, going into overwatch, um, and other special activations. So let's, uh, let's do some bidding. I'm gonna secretly put my bid behind here. Do, 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 there it is, there's my bid. Oh, you can't see it. And then we both roll die. And we should set our order of activations first. We'll do that first. They are face down, my order of activations. And we'll roll a die, just regular D6. Mm. See so who goes first. Two, dear one. And your wager was? 
as well, I also issued nothing, so I'm going first. So I will flip the card and activate. Now, when you activate, you can move and combat action, or you can rush, which gives you an extra, if you're infantry, five centimeters of movement, six centimeters of movement, and if you're a AFV, you get 10 extra centimeters of movement. So my steel attack arms are gonna arrive first. They're gonna walk 14 centimeters. Luckily, I have these handy dandy gauges, and everyone walks on the board, there's no deployment when you first start off. So they're gonna walk, and they're gonna go 14, which will put them over here. And if the opportunity presents itself, you can rush over enemy infantry. I can, you can just <laughs> run over people, as you do. And then I'm gonna spend an LP, and I'm gonna put them on overwatch, which means if something comes in a line of fire of them with a move, they get to shoot. So this whole quarter, they're gonna get to shoot down now. Back and forth until the round ends, we've activated everybody. So Rob gets to activate a unit, and you flip and see who it is, and it's gonna be... Uh, it is Evolution G45, who's oh. leading the hunters. So the hunters are going to show up and they've got all their rockety packs. Now they're pretty fast. They can move what, 30? Uh, they can do 25. an amount of speed equal to the number 18. All right. So if you're looking for your stats, that's movement. How many centimeters? That's your um, uh, bravery. Yeah, that's your bravery. Then you've got your uh, armor, which resists damage, your stabbiness and melee, uh, and then all of your weapon stats are down here too. I'm gonna rush over there and not be anywhere in view. Yep. So I, show, I don't be able to see you, which means I can't shoot you. It's back over to me now, and the fire toads are gonna arrive. Now the fire toads can walk 25, led by Sergeant A. Bors, um, and they're gonna walk their full 20. Is his first name Ash? Plus five, it is Ash. Ash Bors and the bad dog which is the Barker joke. Get it? Get it? See how we do? And he'll be over here. And he's mounted up in that. I'll spend an LP and I'll put that one Overwatch as well. So they're watching for you. Here they come. I'm doing... Come on, robots. Prowlers. Oh, the prowlers. Here they come. These are the big dangerous gun guys. Real fast. Terrifying. They're super fast. They go 30. Yeah. Do you want to get shot by everyone? I'm friggin' Overwatch. <laughs> Gonna walk up. Going far. Team murder guns, walking up. And I'm gonna rush them. So you're gonna rush them so they get an extra 10 centimeters of movement. So these guys are gonna fire. The fire toads actually couldn't see you because this is gonna be blocking line of fire. Um, so the, the attack arms shoot you and they get six shots with laser guns. Now what's interesting about AT-43 is it has a universal resolution table for everything, for making saves, for doing hits, it's one table. And what you do is you compare values. So my steel attack arms laser guns have a range of seven. That's how many increments of 10 centimeters am I inside of? I'm probably inside of seven right now. I'm 80 centimeters away, everything's measured liter to liter. And that means that I am plus or minus one band. So I'm hitting on a four plus here. So I get my number of dice, which is six in this case for the laser guns, hitting on fours. Now the second number on any stat for a weapon is how many rerolls they get. Each of these guys generates one reroll. So I get three failure rerolls here. So fours. Uh-oh, and then one reroll, and I have to use, so I hit you six times. Ugh. Now, it works exactly the same way for damage. Now, these guys are armor of... Good. Colors are armor 12. Okay, and you rushed, so armor 12, damage 14. So you're at minus two to your resolution, which means you save on five pluses. So six five ups, and they do one damage each is the last number. So fives and sixes. I never roll, they never die. That's right, never roll. Six damage. Oh. So now you have five to, you, you, sorry, five damage, that's right, you made one, yeah, five plus. So now you distribute it as evenly as you can amongst the units, so everyone's gonna take one. Yep, so we do one, two, three, four. And five again in the front, okay. So the front guy's gonna take two, and we roll locations. So the location system, one, two is the propulsion, three to five is the frame, and six is the cho uh, weapon, and I get to choose the weapon, actually. So the first one, uh, double five, so both into the body. That just kills him because he only had two structures on his body. If your body ever goes away, you're dead because it's assumed the pilot's killed. <laughs> and it's one on everybody else. So this guy, weapon, I'm going to take his laser lance thing. You don't get to choose. I do get to choose. The active player gets to choose. Oh, that's right. Oh, wait, no. You're the active player. Yeah. Because it's Overwatch. So that makes you the active player, actually. So you would get to choose. Your dumb, machine gun goes away. Little machine pistol. <laughs> the back one, uh, two, which is propulsion. So one of his legs is broke. And the last guy, five is the body. Overwatch goes away. Uh, and now it's back over to me. And I get to activate, and I'm gonna activate the Steel Troopers. That's my boss, we're gonna rush. So they move 14 plus six is gonna be 20. 
And they're just gonna go hide far, far, far from the potential of being killed. Freaking fire crawler. Oh, fire crawler's on his way. Over to you, sir. All right. Who's going next? Last unit, uh, Libby, Evolution G18. Oh, Evolution Gat. The Who you want to go fight? Who wanna you want to go fight? <laughs> Remember, they're still on Overwatch. Yeah. The corner, yeah. try and try and hide a little bit. I think they move pretty far. Yeah. 18 again. 18. Uh, 24. 24. 24 centimeters, and they're gonna hide back there. So they're out of Fire Toad's murder guns range. We can actually one of them can see. And as this is your last unit, there's no point in me not firing because um, I can see these guys up front. So he'll shoot his two laser guns. So it's 90 centimeters away, which is roughly nine bands. It's range eight, so that's a minus one. That means I'm hitting on a four plus. Two shots for laser cannons. And they get one reroll each. We do it twice. Uh, and so you get hit by damage. 14 does one damage. What's your armor? Uh, 11. 11, all right. So 11, which means you're minus three. Uh, and minus three means you save on fives. Five plus. Well, oh, one guy gets vaped. One. They only have one damage each. Blah. Laser cannon? Laser cannon. This fire crawler's walking on. He's just gonna come on the corner oh, and he's gonna walk up and he's gonna make an example <laughs> on you guys. He has heavy grazers. They only have seven range, but they do three dice, no rerolls, but they're damage 17, they do two damage each. So he's in a range six, which is plus one, but still four pluses, and he gets six shots hitting on fours. No rerolls. Hot dice. There's four hits. Uh, uh, what's your armor? <laughs> is it good? Is 12. 12, okay, so you're minus five. So you save on sixes and they're two damage each. You're doing great. All the sixes, just Yahtzee right now. Drop the Yahtzee. Yahtzee, Yahtzee. They take eight damage. <laughs> so they're each gonna take, the front two take three and the back guy takes two. So first front guy, uh, body body, so he's just dead. The second front guy, uh, double legs and a body. Uh, they'll carry over to body. Body, so he's dead too. Uh, and the last guy takes two. <sighs> legs, legs. Broke his legs. Wah! That was turn one. <laughs> and, and activation order was super key. So, new turn. Uh, like we go back and generate AP. No, he's giving me more. <laughs> At least it's fast. So, uh, we generate AP, LP. I'm still going to have 11. You're going to go down to eight because you've lost a unit now. Um, so we put, I put our order of activation in, we'll bid for first. LP can also be used to like change up your card order during a turn. You can also uh, reserve a card by spending an LP. So when you flip to activate, instead of activating it, you can put it in reserve. And then the next time you flip, they can activate together. There's all kinds of fun things you can do. But right now we're just gonna bid. Bid to see who goes first. Yeah. Ready? Just a look. All right, I'm not looking. Oh, and sorry, I'm also gonna score two VPs because it's two VPs for an armored fighting vehicle being destroyed. Oh, and was there a character in there as well? No. There wasn't, okay, yeah, so you're fine. Uh, so he goes first, you get a four. I got a four, what'd you bid? Six. Oh, he's going first, I only bid four, so it's all you. He's going first. Uh, it is gonna be- Team Rockets or Team no, Rangers? The team Rangers. damn unit. Okay, <laughs> whoops. Crap. It's fine, if you, if you intended for the other one to go first, just just change it up, yeah, it's no big deal. I, I, we, no one's gone yet, so I'm not, I'm not worried about it. So Team Rockets going? Team Rockets, they're just gonna go there. Go get them, Mewtwo. And just try. <laughs> yeah, I made a Team Rocket joke. I never even watched that show, but I knew that was a thing. Because internet. All so right. We're going to shoot the just toads. Dumping rockets into the toads. Oh, jeez. Rocket clock. Everyone loves the leader. You said six. Six. Okay, range man six. Uh, your accuracy is uh, on Team Rocket seven. I think it was seven. Uh, it's, it's like five with my goon yep. and sixes with my uh, characters. So five with the goon is minus three. So he hits on fives. Yep. And then sixes is still fives. <laughs> so everything's on fives, all the rockets. And they're three each, so it's nine. Nine shots and three rerolls. Hit on fives. Get him. Oh, he's cranking it. So three hits, uh, and he has to reroll three of these dice. He has three rerolls. Four hits total. And what's the damage? Uh, damage to those is uh, 11. It's not all too right. Damage. So four hits, damage 11. I'm armor 11, so I save on four pluses. So four dice on fours. See me I save. Save two, and they're two damage each. Yep. All right, so take four damage, so everyone's gonna take one, and this guy will take two. So two on him, Mr. the Toad, 
Uh, propulsion and body, the bad dog. Three is the body, and then into the last back fire toad Six. is weapon. And you're active, so you can choose either of the two lasers that are exactly oh, oh, the gosh. same. Uh, left laser. Okay. So the machine guns won't do anything because I'm armor 11, they're damage five. That makes it a difference of six, which drops off the chart. And then you have uh, spent LP now to go to ground. Nope. That means, sorry, to cover, sorry, uh, which means you get a three plus invulnerable save basically against all damage. But specifically cogs because they have a cog force field. So I can do that in open cover. Nice. Or open, uh, Without even being in cover. Because normally to take that already you have to be obstructed, yeah. All right, and you've got one LP left. That's all I need. What do I got? I got Sergeant A. Boars and the dudes. All right, Sergeant A. Boars. Let's do some stuff. Let's kill all the cogs. 25, we're gonna go walk over here. We're gonna go walk over here. We're gonna go walk over here. And then we're gonna shoot laser guns at you. Inside of range band five, and we're actually eight, so plus three means I hit on three pluses with one reroll each. So six shots from laser cannons, hit on three. And I got the reroll I need. You take six hits of damage 14, but you just get a three up save. So it's yes. relevant. So six three plus saves. I should kill the unit here. I hope. Explode them! Force fields, force fields, all power to the force fields! If they don't roll, they don't die. It's true, yeah. <laughs> they don't die. <laughs> They're all dead. <laughs> One, two, three. And I oh. score again. That's, uh, and that's two characters. So I actually <laughs> scored three there and go to five. All right. It's over to you. Or it's over to, yeah, it's over to you. Uh. Who's going next? Wait, it's, it's only one unit. <laughs> the huntsman. Uh, or hunters. Huntsman, Snow White. Gunman. Snow White and the gunman. Oh man, do they just go home? Just go. <laughs> just, just finish him. Just go. Finish him off. Um, I mean, oh, what's there? I can actually threaten those guys. You can kill those guys. Yeah, they're only armor eleven. Yeah, I got house seven guns, a lot of shots. Let's do it. Let's get the moral victory. Cause that thing's. Kill horrifying. some toads. It is. Why it did is, they bring a van? It is. It is. Why did they bring two I don't know. You're the one that. Oh, by the way, I forgot. At the end of all their activations, they all heal a damage point because mint. We're gonna take one off the body. Oh, sorry. It would have to have been the start actually because I shot all my guns, and I had two guns down there, so I need to fix my guns. I knew. I knew there was a reason I was able to fire all six of my guns. That's because they all repaired. See, Let's do it. Let's go. <laughs> come on. Come on, greedy uh, Ferengis. Yeah, we're going over. We're going over. We're just gonna go and do dumb shit. <laughs> Here come the Gatling machine guns. Uh, they're actually pretty good. Pretty close, Quantum man. You're uh, what am I in? I'm five? In four. Four. Uh, if you're inside of fifth, yeah, you're in four. That's right. Yeah, yeah in four. Yeah, you're inside four. Plus two, which means you hit on threes. How many rerolls you got? Uh, one reroll, three rocks. So four rerolls total. So it's 12 shots. No, no, no. Oh, it's the one guy. One yeah, guy. yeah. Three shots on threes. And your one reroll. And these are two damage each. Yep. Uh, okay. Alright, so you can see everybody. So it's three hits, How damage eleven. 11, so fours. Just just don't die. Take two damage. Yep. So one on each, so one on bad dog. He's gonna take a four and a three. Bad four and a three. Four. So bad dog's in the body, he's almost dead. And then in the other guy, he uh let's just say the right guy, he goes to three, which is his weapon. His weapon, sorry, it's his, his body. Now it's twelve shots of the assault guns. Give me dice. Oh the dice. Three plus. Let's do it. With three rerolls. Go get him. Ugh. Ugh. Not good for fire toads. Eleven hits. Eleven hits, what's the damage? Uh sevens. Sevens? So plus four, which means I'm on twos. Yep. Eleven two pluses. Shrug it! Now we take three, three get through. So one on each. You might kill one of them. You might kill the base. Actually, you might kill boars if you hit him in the body. <laughs> boars. Uh, legs. He's okay. And then the next one that might die. Three. Body, you're dead. You killed him. And four. And four. Another quantum machine we forgot about on threes. Go. And one reroll. Uh, yep. And then two save. Does it get through? No, he's fine. Uh, cover for some three plus saves. See who's next. Leave me alone. It's the steel tack arms. Oh, thank you. And they're gonna go go kill some guys. They're just gonna walk up to here. They're gonna shoot down range. So six shots. Side range six or eight, so it's plus two, which means we hit on threes. Six shots here. On the threes. And the reroll each. And so that's gonna be damage 14. Good. 14-1? Uh, you should both save anyway. Doesn't number matter. 11. Oh, yeah, yeah, three plus. Three plus. So you're in cover. How many shots am I saving against? Six? The six. Six three ups. You're gonna do great. You're gonna do great. All one. Okay, it gets pasted. It's off. So it's back <laughs> over to me. 
And I can do the Steel Troopers. They can walk 14, and that's important. Uh, they're gonna rush. Because I'm pretty sure I can still rush and do this. I need to rush 20. Whoop, and go over to there. And we're gonna heal point damage on that Fire Toad. It's pretty beat up, so you need to take one off the body, and he's done. And then Mr. He's not dismounted, that's Boar's. Oh, that's, that's Boar's in his, in his toad still. Firecrawler's gonna go, and they're gonna walk back here. So we can see Team 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 Heidi. Anti-shift guns will shoot your, your cogs. So it's uh, six dice, probably on fours. Each man eight, so minus one, so still four plus. And I hit you four times, and it's down. It's just cover, so just cover. Do your cover saves, four cover saves. You're gonna be great. You got storm shields, storm shield it. Energy shields. Two damage, so two guys get pasted, but your character's still alive. It's <laughs> turn! It's time to go quote the rules of acquisition somewhere else, space alien. Three? That's all I get. All right, so you got three. And actually, sorry, what I, what I forgot is we score differently. You actually score VP for every AFV destroyed. Because oh. there's three AFVs in, or sorry, two VPs for every one destroyed. So you should get two F AFVs for that. But I think the difference is that I get eight for the ones that I killed. <laughs> Evolution 645, let's do what we're doing. I'm gonna bid some some LPs. And let's roll. He's going first. Turn three. You get a five. What'd you get in total? Seven. Seven. I got a two plus five is seven. So I think it goes to the authority of our leaders. We got something wrong. You actually add your authority to the overall dice roll. So you're plus one. I'm plus four, and then plus five and plus <laughs> plus three. So I get to go first. So we're gonna reveal that it's. Team Fire Toad. You're never gonna guess which one I'm gonna do next. Th they're all gonna heal first. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna heal one of the body, and then he's gonna also heal one of the body. Uh, because of our our minds. And then and then we're just gonna kind of move a little bit and aim. Four shots. I believe you're still in cover. I think it persists. Until they activate again. Until they activate again. But they all hit. because uh, I was threes last time, so I was threes again. Uh, and you take three, four, three up saves, three up cover oh. saves, energy field, go! You can do this, man, you can do this. You do great. Live! He does! He's alive, he gets to uh, activate! Hooray! Holy crow. Go get him. Go get him, G36. Uh, maybe he's not gonna activate. Maybe he's yeah, going he's to activate. <laughs> Alright, so he's gonna dump his rockets first. Okay, makes sense. Uh, you're a plus four right now, so you're on two pluses Oops. with your rockets. Hit on twos. All hit, saving on four plus because it's damage 11, right? 11, two damage each. Four plus. Oh, I did six damage. That's bad news. So three on each. On a boars, roll some locations. Uh, body, body, he's dead, which dismounts Sergeant A boars behind this thing over here. Like, uh, four VPs. That's right. And then his friend. Uh, body, legs. Uh, so his legs are already, wait, wait, wrong guy, wrong guy. Oh, he's not damaged at all. So his body, legs, legs. So his legs are blown off, he takes one to the body. Quantum machine gun, Four you're in, you're at plus two, so it's three ups. You're within six. Yeah, but their accuracy, seven, range six, so it's plus one. Plus one, sorry, that's right, yeah, yeah. So it's so plus... Four up. Four up, yeah. And how many rerolls? Uh, one reroll. One reroll. There you go. Damage is... Uh, damage seven. Seven, so difference of four, so I get two up saves. Four, that's okay, I got it. Two ups. No, take a damage. Where does it go? Uh, one point of damage to the five. To the five, which is his body. He's got one left. Uh, Shoot, move. And you're gonna walk away, go high on the wall. Steal my ruler. Shoot, scoot. Because uh, so he... yes, you can activate in any order. Yep. So he's... You gotta go back there and so hide. Just hide like a take hero. cover, just in case. That makes sense. Who do so I have next? Units. Yes, it's Mr. The Firecrawler. And he's gonna go. I'm just gonna walk over here. I can't move through terrain, but I'm gonna spend an LP to go on Overwatch. Uh, then my next activation, you got nothing to do. I got attack arms. They're gonna rush. They rush 20. I'm gonna try and hunt down this guy. Head over to A Boars and just hang out. And lastly, is the Steel Troopers. Engineer's gonna go blow this thing up. <laughs> we're gonna rush over here. I don't know if we can blow it up this turn, but we're gonna try. Everybody's gonna stay friends. I can't remember if you have to spend an LP. <laughs> Probably. But. Blam! During my activation, I can just blow it up. So I do. Get the fire crawler loose so I can go somewhere. Jared Good job, engineer. civil engineer. Uh, and I'm done. All right. I'm new, my new turn. <laughs> 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 Put yours over. All right. Um, so your authority plus a die. So mine's plus four, and then whatever we wager. I can't wait. I got a 10. So I'm not wagering. Hey! Okay. <laughs> so I'll flip and see who goes first. And it's gonna be the fire crawler. Good. He's. Going to just move his movements of 20 up to here. And then I'm gonna spend an LP and go on Overwatch. Yeah. As we do. Fun. 
Watch, it's watch and learn. Uh, Scoot out with G36. 45. G45, sorry. G45. G45? If you get one more body point, you kill this guy. He's going right there. Alright, I can't see with anybody else right now. He's a little peak boy. And then put him in cover after this. Oh, hell yeah. You're within five? Um, four? And four. Uh, so I'm going to do my r -r -r rockets, which are uh, sixes to the fives. I'm going to hit on fours. Hit on fours. Or uh, six. No, it was Marine Band fours. So four. Be threes. Threes. And uh, no rerolls required. Four plus. Pile 11. Yep. I'm just dead. I take six damage. <laughs> Two more and go to six. That worked. Machine guns can shoot at them. Deal guys. See okay. If can do anything. Uh, You're within six. You're within six. So that's going to put me at four plus. Do it. Uh, four shots, one reroll. Uh, one reroll. Two. Two. And then they are armor on Steel Troopers of five. Siete. All right, so plus two. Uh, I need a sure, minus two. I need a five plus here. Nope. Matt! I'll ignore one of the damage and I'll lose the guy. And then you can actually spend the rest of your movement. You don't spend it all at once to move backwards. He's going to shoot and scoot. He will take cover. Take cover, of course. <laughs> and, and he'll go on Overwatch. Whoa. Even though Whoa. he can't actually do anything. Oh. Got nothing else to spend I it on. I see. Who's, so he's who's cowering going right now. He's not cowering. He's just being <laughs> real cagey. He's, he's real cagey. So we're going to rush with attack arms 20. Up to here. I'm gonna make you fight for it. Man. I know you are. And I'll spend one to put them on over. Oh no, I rushed. I can't. I can spend nothing to do nothing. And it's going to be the Steel Troopers. Uh, and they're gonna rush 20. Heading forward. Get in the middle of the table here. Ugh. And then it's going to be Sergeant Abors. He's just gonna, he's just gonna dirtle. It's gonna be over here. And then last but not least, my fire truck was destroyed, so it's gone. Last turn of the game, turn five. Uh, let's do some authority rolls. Uh, I've lost a unit now, so I'm down to nine LPs. Yeah, suck it. Let's <laughs> see going first. I got plus four. Whoa. Nine to four. You don't have the LPs. Uh, I'm gonna spend two when I activate and delay my activation. Mr. Knight, what are we doing? Uh, Can't come out and face the fire crawler? Or are you just gonna tell gonna, your story? I'm gonna shimmy that way. I'm gonna shimmy back that oh, way. Oh, I see. I see how it is. And We're I'm gonna, gonna shimmy shimmy. I'm gonna go to ground. Okay. I'm gonna take cover. Yep. I'm gonna go on Overwatch. All right, sounds good. Uh, so I'm gonna spend two more, and that means I can activate the attack arms and the fire crawler together Whoa. at the same time. Double activate. Fully free. We'll do these guys first. They're gonna rush twenty up to here. Ah, oh, you know they're not gonna rush. They're just gonna walk behind this thing. Oh, cool. And I'll spend one more to go on Overwatch. Just. Come out, come out wherever you are. And then he's gonna go I'd forward. I'd rather not. <laughs> and I'll spend one more and put him back on Overwatch and we'll be done. Again, <laughs> Team Steel Trooper. You guys just need to hide behind them, Bors, and, and let the let the robots do the lifting. Is it a hard ass? That's it. Bors. That's it. And Bors. Let's get the Bors. And we're going to spend one more, put them in the cover. And that's end of game. So I've managed to score. <laughs> I got some I got some kills. You got KG at the end there, but I got some kills. So I managed to get the four AFEs for eight. Uh, your two characters for nine, ten, and then your two hunting units. No, I didn't kill him. Didn't kill him. So he's technically that unit's still alive. So... Nine. So I had three units. Eight, yeah. Uh, Nine for one, one of the units, and ten for the one character I killed. Yeah. To my six. Six. That's all right. It's not I, bad. It's I close to the thought. Play cogs at the end of our game. <laughs> end of the game. That's right. <laughs> it's been a minute though. Oh of my course. goodness. It's been about ten years. So yeah. there you go, guys. A brief intro to AT43. You'll see more of this in the future. Um, we have like. There's a lot more stuff mm -hmm. for playing like a more advanced game um, of bigger stuff and using reserves and stuff. But just to give you guys an idea of the basic mechanics, it's a nice quick game um, and it, it definitely has lots of interplay when you start realizing how to use your LPs and stuff. It's getting tougher to find the stuff for sale these days. It's but, true. Uh, if you look around, you can find it. Definitely. Worth getting, getting definitely. Cheap. Yeah, and it's definitely worth finding. If you try places like um, Bartertown, probably. Uh, where else? You just got like an old hobby store near you. Yeah, Maybe they might they have some. Have it in their store. They might just have it in their, in their, their, their like their junk boxes and stuff too. So check it out. Great game. Lots of fun. Uh, lots of depth, and you'll see more of it in the future. Good. You made me come all the way here. I woke <laughs> up at six a.m. <laughs>
for this. To be fair, <laughs> yes, you did. And also, you were never going to get anywhere else. Because who, who else would play AT43 with you oh. on a whim? When you were like, I'm off for a week. What should I do? And I was like, let's play a stupid game. And you're like, I'm not really excited about anything. And I was like, let's get excited about something silly. So we yep. dug in our AT43 stuff. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Again, a big a big thanks and shout out to the Esoteric Order of Gamers, guys. Link below if you want to check the rules out. Yeah, they've, they've done the books. everything. They've curated everything. So if you want to check out the rules, the background, any of the stuff we talked about today, you can go check it out and read about it. Um, it's a super great, fast, fun game it's got a lot of depth when you start playing with like reinforcements and you're just doing better with lps because we, we were just fumbling through well at the end of the game i remember <laughs> oh, that's, how you that's right talk. i move out and shoot <laughs> and make you come find me is what happens well and i figured out i need to overlap my overwatch because whenever you do that i have to be able to to catch you basically halfway oh, through your fire turn. crawlers gross. it is but you have an equally gross big guy you just didn't take yeah you took an eight-man unit to like play into your well, thing just my rockets are kind of bonkers you're bonkers they are there the damage to rockets are crazy mm. I get a decent save against it. Actually, I think the Firecrawler is even better. The Firecrawler is pretty good armor. He's like armor, like bananas, I'm pretty sure. Where is he? He's armor, better than 11. Armor 15. Ugh. So he's plus four. So he's saving on twos against even your rockets. Should have brought a Vandal. <laughs> yeah, but the Vandal, the Vandal's a, it's definitely a, a serious big guy. The only big guy I don't have is actually the Red Block one. And Dash Yaga. The Dash Yaga, which is just a cool giant. It's kind of like a weird World War II version of the Firecrawl. It's pretty awesome, actually. Yeah, it's an artillery gun that has legs. That has legs. It kind of looks like the Spider Tank from Ghost in the Shell. It reminds me of that. If it was like a little yeah. Soviet or, or... It's ridiculous. Or, it's pretty cool. So anyway, uh, we'll see more of this in the future. Of course, if you want to play some AT43, you can email me at gmail.com or Facebook message me at facebook.com slash out of the basement into the streets and I'm more than happy to dust this stuff off and play. Uh, so we'll see you next time. Big thanks to Rob for coming in. Big thanks to you guys for watching. Until then, I'm Ash. Have for gaming. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you uh, want to support the channel, of course, like and subscribe and hit the little bell below so you get notifications when I post future content. I do post stuff seven days a week. Uh, if you want to support the channel um, further, you can, of course, buy a t-shirt through Spreadshirts, um, buy a measuring gauge or objective markers from Death Ray Designs, um, or, of course, most importantly, there is Patreon. Patreon is what makes all this possible, uh, keeps the lights on, pays for the studio costs, pays for the equipment, model costs, and everything else, and most importantly, um, puts food in my kids' bellies and a roof over their heads. Uh, big thanks to everyone past, future who supported me. Uh, I do this stuff because of you guys, and of course, I will continue doing it as long as I can.